Valve has announced a Steam. Uh, Valve has announced a new Steam Deck. You know, because the old one was such a huge, roaring success, selling something like, what? what is it, like less than 2 million copies? You know, it's trailing behind the Wii U. It's one of the biggest gaming flops I've ever seen in my life. But, oh, no, this time it has an OLED screen. And, of course, the usual suspects are, are coming out saying, oh, it's going to be way better this time. All the problems with the battery life and the screen and the interface are all going to just magically go away with this minor upgrade, the Steam Deck OLED. But, you know, this isn't about the Steam Deck, okay? The Steam Deck is irrelevant. It's not not important. Nobody really cares. The thing that annoys me about this, though, the thing that really bothers me is when you compare what these people did to the Switch OLED versus how they're treating the S Steam Deck OLED, because when you look back and look back at the Switch OLED announcement, all you could see from these people, like Review Tech USA, to cite one example, is how it's a major disappointment, how they were expecting a Switch Pro, how this, how a minor screen upgrade isn't gonna like make the the Switch competitively viable in the future, and how like Nintendo was on the way out, how Steam Deck was bigger than the iPhone, the most important product since the iPhone. Right, and how it was going to demolish like everything and be the greatest selling thing ever, and how Nintendo was going to going to go out of business, and the Japanese were going to be taking Steam Decks on trains, and they'd they'd be emulating all the Nintendo games like everywhere, and nobody would ever buy a Nintendo console ever again, and Shigeru Miyamoto would go out like into Japanese ba bathhouses to give blowjobs because he would just no longer have a purpose in life, right? That was the narrative for the longest time, but the reality was quite a bit different, right? You know, the Switch OLED came out, it was successful. Uh, this last investor meeting, Nintendo confirmed that it's actually outselling the base Switch now. But all of these analysts, all these YouTubers, all of these frauds said it was going to be a flop because it wasn't a significant enough upgrade to the Switch. You know, completely ignoring the fact that the Switch itself was an insanely successful product and the OLED was simply a minor incremental upgrade, you know, with with some minor quality of life improvements that, you know, does have a lot of appeal for a certain audience, people who are looking for to being first time switch owners or people who are looking to upgrade, right? It's not, wasn't meant to be a, re a replacement for the switch. And yet with the Steam Deck announcement, you know, seeing the Steam Deck OLED, which let's be honest, much like the original Steam Deck was a copycat of the Switch, the Steam Deck OLED is a copycat of the Switch OLED in that it's doing the same thing. It has like, you know, it's slightly more expensive. They made some ergonomic uh, improvements. The screen is an OLED. It even has a similar name, the OLED, right? Like that is their act. That is what they're actually calling it the steam deck oled trying trying desperately to associate with nintendo trying desperately to compare their product to a far more successful and popular one you know gabe is desperately trying to uh, keep his brand alive you know for as long as he possibly can he is getting stomped by the by the switch you know all of the best indie games are selling better on switch than they are in steam deck now right on, on steam now like steam is a dying platform kept alive only by desperate youtubers and uh, indie developers who just wouldn't be able to compete on a platform with actual releases to compete with uh, that has actual releases for people to play right steam is has never been able to put out a successful piece of hardware. And when the Steam Deck came out, before it came out, I was explaining this to you. I was explaining how Valve was taking a massive loss with every Steam Deck sold. I explained to you that they were trying to take a huge chunk out of the Switch market and that it was never going to work. I explained to you that the Switch was still on top of its game and that like Valve has a long history of like faulty products and not being able to continually support hardware for any period of time longer than a couple of years you know i explained to you all the problems that the steam deck was gonna have in the first couple of years and every single one of them was true steam deck failed to be successful there is no reason to own a steam deck when you could simply just own a switch <laughs> The platform simply has no audience outside a 
<laughs> a hardcore group of Nintendo haters, you know, PC steampunks, right? These guys who desperately want to uh, to trick you into thinking Valve is able to like outperform Nintendo in the hardware space, but in reality, it simply isn't true, right? Nobody wants to admit it, but Nintendo has been running circles around Valve for decades now. PlayStation and Xbox, right? There, there's been like Valve is not has not really been able to co stay competitive because of their poor business practices, like their their terrible company structure, right? The their inability to kind of do anything outside of simply running in a store that they have a monopoly on because they were early to the game compared to anyone else. There, there's nothing that makes Valve a better service than good old games or the Epic Game Store or like the Xbox Game Pass, right? Valve is just is just a company that exists, you know? Like they are not going to be able to remain competitive in the long term. And I, I think the Steam Deck is a really good example as to why. They cannot make a product that's interesting, innovative, or practical, really. Like, the Steam Deck is about $500, right? Like, you know, for a basic no like a basic model. Like, you would be well better off spending, you know, saving some money getting a Switch or spending more money and getting a PC, right? Like, what exactly is the benefit of getting a middle-of-the-road product like that that's faulty, that has a ton of issues, that that's failing near constantly, that has all these issues with like you know i i've heard things about like the fan overheating and stuff like that like the steam deck the long and short of it could never have competed against nintendo not even like a major phenomenon like the switch right it would have flopped against the 3ds it would have flopped against the the game boy it would have flopped against like anything that nintendo put out against it but you know valve 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 being valve can do whatever they want and not a single person will really, really address that what they do doesn't work, right? Like, how many people do you see admit that they don't play their Steam decks that much or that it's not viable to put it up against the Switch, that, like, no no Switch game is easily emulatable on the Steam Deck? I'd like to see you try emulating WarioWare Move It on the platform, right, with the detachable Joy-Cons and stuff like that. Like, it just is never going to work. And, and and it feels more and more like a, this OLED is just, like, a last-ditch effort to try and, like, generate some kind of, like, last-minute enthusiasm for the Steam Deck, that this is some, like... This is some way this is going to save the brand. This is going to bring everything back. This is going to get people talking about the Steam Deck again. No, like the only interest that anybody ever had in the Steam Deck was this idea that it would be able to like put Nintendo out of the industry. And when that obviously didn't happen, people completely lost all interest in the platform. Right, that was the only reason this brand was talked about. Uh, this this thing was talked about. It had nothing to do with the games or the features or the hardware. The only reason people wanted to support it was to be anti Nintendo. Was to try and downplay the Switch. Was to try and pretend the Switch had a viable competitor when it really didn't. Like they wanted to be to create a narrative about Nintendo's console right they wanted to do that but uh, i don't see a lot of people admit it you know i i i don't see anybody talking about all the problems that the steam deck absolutely has and i'm not seeing a lot of people like acknowledge that the steam deck oled isn't fixing any of those problems and not one of those early adopters of the steam deck are going to be excited at picking up a steam deck oled why exactly would they waste their time and money for another product that is essentially the same exact thing.